The Paratex nitrate reductor is extremely easy to use. The first step is to remove the surface oxidation on the cadmium pins. This must be done each time the reductor is used. Place the reductor in the acid cleaning solution and sonicate for approximately 60 seconds. Remove the reductor from the cleaning solution and rinse it with deionized water. Shake some of the water off and then place it on a paper towel. Use a folded paper towel to blot the underside dry. Any liquid left may wick into the samples when you're running the analysis and cause error. Place a reductor in the holding trough containing pH 8.5 buffer. The next step is to pipette the standards and samples into the microplate. This can be done with a single channel pipette. However, it's usually more convenient to transfer the samples to cluster tubes and then use a multi channel pipette. After the samples and standards have been pipetted into the microplate, the appropriate buffer is added. A total volume of about 220 microliters will ensure that the, there will be no spillage while the microplate is shaking. The microplate is then placed on the tighter plate shaker. The reductor is then lifted from the holding tray, blotted on a paper towel, and placed on the microplate. Locking pins are used to fasten the reductor in place. The whole assembly is then shaken for 60 minutes to complete the reduction process. When the reduction of nitrate to nitrite is complete, the reductor is removed and immediately rinsed with the ionized water as before. Sixty microliters of grease reagent is then added to each well. The microplate is placed back on the shaker for five minutes to allow color development. Finally, the plate reader is programmed. And the microplate is read at 542 nanometers. Approximately 12 seconds later, the analysis is complete.